Hello, so today we're going to talk about whether or not you should wait to get the RX Vega or you should buy one now, depending if you can find one. So let's let's explain this. I'll hopefully add some more information here. Let's get into it. So AMD has finally released their highly anticipated RX Vega lineup of just two cards. Both versions, both versions, the Vega 56, priced at around $400, is set to battle against the GTX 1070. And Vega 64 is set to compete against the GTX 1080, with a very complicated pricing at the moment. So, the big question is, should you buy one? Well, let's start with the Vega 64 pricing complications at the moment. With the official launch MSRP of Vega 64 at about $500, $499 to be exact, but you know, we round up around here. But already, just after two weeks of Vega being released, the price on Newegg is already up to $630, which I paid $650 for my GTX 1080 Ti. What the heck happened? Well, $500 was apparently an introductory price, with the price now going up as much as $150 after the in introductory supply price at $500, $500 was quickly depleted. A rebate was given to the companies that sell graphics cards like NCIX and Newegg that let these companies still make money off of selling the cards. Now that the introductory price has been depleted, no rebate is issued to the stores and they are forced to sell their cards at somewhat of an infl inflated price. Now let's get into the specs. Both Vega 56 and 64 use the same GPU with 8GB of HBM2 memory with 300 or 3854 cores on the lower end of Vega 56 and 4096 on Vega 64. 56 has 56 Radeon compute units, hence the name, and 64, and the 64 obviously has 64 compute units. Performance of the Vegas 56 is about 10% better than the $50 more expensive GTX 1070. While Vega 64 may be 10 slower, 10% slower than the GTX 1080. So should you buy one? At this very moment, I only think you should buy a Vega 56 if you're in the market for something in the range of about a 1070, if you can find one. Vega 64 is too expensive for the current prices, and I re recommend getting the GTX 1080 or even the 1080 um, Ti for the same price. I personally use the GTX 1080 Ti, and we have seen that it, for around the same price, it completely destroys the uh, 64 for around the same price. So anyway, thank you all for watching this video. If you guys do kind of enjoy this stuff, check out my channel. I do a whole bunch of stuff about the RX Vega and a whole bunch about that as well. Of course, maybe some computer mods in the future. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and uh, see you guys next time.